Okay, hey love. <clears throat> Sorry, I just got through eating hot chicken wings and they're so spicy. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make um, <clears throat> a bow. It's really easy. Okay, so my trick to making uh, bows is I use twine um, and you just want to cut a length off and I usually do about from my elbow to my wrist and I cut a, a length off and, and you're going to make it decorative this twine is going to be part of your bow I like a rustic looking bow I don't like a real hoity toity fancy um, kind of bow I just don't like that so <clears throat> I have two kinds of ribbon I'm going to show you um, the thicker one and the thinner one. I'm going to start off with the thinner one. And you can make your bow as big as you want to. Um, really and truly, it's not that hard. So you start off with holding, if you're right-handed, hold the tail in, the right, in your right hand. And you just want to make a loop as big as you want your loop to be. And I don't go into measurements. It's easier for me just to eyeball it. But you put your tail kind of in the middle, like you put your, look, like this. So you do your tail like this <clears throat> in the front. And then you're going to twist the bottom part, what's on the bottom, to keep your, the, the side, the decorative side of your ribbon, you want to keep it up. So you're going to twist it and you're going to loop it back on itself like that. And then you're going to twist it again. You always want the pretty side facing you. And then you're going to make another loop. And you're going to hold it in your hand. And it's not that hard. <laughs> and then you're going to twist it again. And then you're going to make another loop. And you're going to hold that in your hand. And you can keep going and then twist it, keep twisting it until you get the size bow you want. And you can make, like I usually make mine about three loops, whoops, about three loops on each side. Um, because I think that makes a really pretty full bow. Um, as long as you keep twisting your ribbon, and I usually use the wired ribbon so you can arrange your bow and make it pretty and then I cut off the end at an angle so you have a nice pretty bow and you can also make little girls hair bows the same way and just glue them to a barrette and then you take your twine <clears throat> and like I said I like a rustic look if you don't like a rustic look you can get like silver um string or silver ribbon or you can even use another piece of the ribbon like you're doing the bow in and you can tie that in the middle and scrunch it together in the middle so it's thin and then with the twine if you're using the twine you can double knot it and so you have this really pretty little country looking <clears throat> you know vintagey looking bow and then you just go in and you just straighten out your your bows or your loops and get them all in place and there you have a nice pretty little bow to go on your present and <clears throat> I attach this with super sticky tape, <clears throat> super sticky tape, and I usually put a piece like right on the inside of the lowest loop on one side and then on the other, and sometimes it helps if you kind of bend your bow a little bit, and then you can stick it down on the package, and I usually let these kind of flop around, and the twine just kind of flops, because <laughs> I think it's really pretty that way. So anyway, that's how you make a bow. Um, and then with the uh, with the bigger ribbon, it's a little bit harder, but not that much harder. So again, I'm going to cut a piece of twine. And 
and then it's the same thing. You're gonna <clears throat> loop your bow. And if your ribbon is the same, like the same color on both sides, um, you don't have to like do that much twisting. Um, this is kind of the same on both sides. It's glittery. So, um, usually when I finish it off, um, I can like twist the ribbon then. So, with the bigger boot, with the bigger bows, um, I'm gonna, I usually do about three, maybe four. I kind of like the way three looks. Oh, but I'm at the end of my roll. So, ah, sorry, this keeps sliding. Um, so, this is going to be kind of an even. So, I'm going to do a little loop on that side. And I'm going to trim this off. <clears throat> so, that's what it looks like. It's not very pretty right now. But it will be in a minute, I promise you. So you just take your twine and you tie it like right in the middle and you tie it tight so it poofs out. And the ends don't have to match, they don't have to be perfectly even. I kind of like them uneven because it looks more country or more vintagey looking. And then you just straighten your, and again you can do this with the same color ribbon. Um, you can tie it in the middle with the same color ribbon if you want something that looks a little more classic. Um, but like I said, I'm not really into the whole classic bow thing. So anyway, <clears throat> so that literally took me, what, three minutes? <clears throat> and I tied a bow. And again, I'll just stick this on a, uh, a present. So there it is. So, two bows in seven minutes and 44 seconds. <laughs> I gotta go add these to the Christmas presents now. Okay, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.